Hey, good morning, good morning, welcome, welcome to another time to pray, welcome to another time in the hop room, another time to pray, you know, we got to do this with this, and uh, we got to pray, I'm leading myself in a place of praying, uh, by doing a study through the book of Daniel, and uh, we're trying to run that up right now in chapter 12, you know, and uh I guess that's the problem. One of the two things we can give from 12 as we try to close it out. And I was just looking at uh, the one thing that caught my attention is uh, verse 10. You know, you know, is verse 10. It says, many shall be purified and made white and refined. And now many are going to come to salvation. Many are going to come to righteousness. But it's not everybody. Many, not everybody, you know, and God embodied with that. God already knows that that's going to happen, you know. It's a choice. God's not going to force anybody to come to righteousness. If anyone's going to come to righteousness, it's going to be because they choose to, right? God's not going to save everybody. It's not going to force everybody to heaven. It's not going to force everybody to live right. You know, says many will come, many will be purified, but not all. The second part of that verse is also just as powerful. It says, and that's uh, Daniel chapter 12, verse 10, says, but the wicked, but the wicked, but the wicked shall do wickedly. You know, when you hear about that, you see all these people that are supporting abortion in the U.S. and they couldn't be bothered about the way they're killing babies. They, you know, they come out right and say it. that is their body. They can do whatever they want with it, you know, outrightly. You see all the uh, gay movement, transgender thing going on. It says, but the wicked, but the wicked, but the unrighteous. But the perverse, but the, uh, you know, the, those that do not follow righteousness, but the sinners, right, shall do wickedly, right? They will, they will dig their feet in their wickedness, in their unrighteousness, in their unbelief, right? Even though they, 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 there's the pure evidence of righteousness of God, those that don't want to believe will still not believe, right? They, it's a decision. And God is not going to force anybody against their decision. God will give us all the opportunity to repent. He will make plain to everyone um, the truth. But he's not going to force it down anybody's throat. We all still have to make a decision. And our decision is what makes us. We leave the consequence of our decision. God is not going to force us, force any decision on us. That is why God is a just God. That is what makes God a righteous God. That is what makes God a perfect God. Or because God is a just God, that is why he will do that. Because God is a righteous God, that is why we'll do that. Because God is a perfect God, that is why we'll do that. He gives us, each one of us, the opportunity to decide the consequence for our lives. Because our consequence are li is linked to our decision. Our decision is a causative. Um, is, 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 is a cause. Uh, the consequence is the effect. Right to choose the effect, we have to choose the cause. To right to 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 want the effect, we have to decide the cause. That the cause, right? We don't have a direct connection to the effect. What we have a direct connection to is a cause, the decision that we make concerning our lives. You know, if people are so easily drawn to giving excuses concerning life, but excuses don't cut it. Like I popularly say, excuses don't cook rice, right? We're not here to make excuses. We're here to live life.
Yeah. We're just looking at, I was just looking at verse 10 of Daniel chapter 12. You know, and it reads, it says, many shall be purified, made white and refined, but the wicked shall do wickedly and none of the wicked shall understand mm. or the wise shall understand, you know. It just for me brings to mind, you know, the way God has created the universe, mm. you know. He has created us free moral agents, he has not forced us to either do right mm. or do evil. It's our choice. It's mm. our choice. Bible says God is not mocked. Whatsoever yeah. man, that's what he will reap. God is not troubled. God is not perturbed. <laughs> no matter what we do, God is not perturbed. Whether we are born again, not born again, whether we live rightly, not live rightly. God is not perturbed. He's not troubled. Mm. No, he says, "Is whatsoever we sow, that is what we reap." Reap. You know, God is not agitated. I was just sharing with um a group this morning. You know, there's nothing about Nigeria that will make God to be moved. God mm. already sees Nigeria in the past, the present, and the future. Mm -hmm. you know? And God is not troubled about Nigeria. You know, mm. it's me that are supposed to catch up with God, not God catching up with us. You mm. know, whatsoever we sow in Nigeria, that's how we are it. There's no giving. Mm. There's no mm. giving. There's no, all this thing we talk about is the trigger point of Africa. We just, all of those are said to make ourselves happy. It has mm. no basis in scripture. It's what we yes. sow or reap. If we do well, mm. grow. If we don't do well, we decline. <laughs> yeah. it's, there's no given, you know. It's a principle of God, you know. If we if we if we if we do the right things, we'll get the result. If we do the wrong things, we'll get the result. God is not mocked. God is not disturbed. It's up to us. Even as Christians, every day, if we take care of our body, we'll get the result. If we don't take care of our body, we'll get the results. There's mm. no oh, because I'm a servant of God. All of that mm. we are just ourselves so <laughs> you know if, it, if you do well you will get well you know if you read your bible you get the result if you pray you get the result there's nothing given it's all mm -hmm. about what we do or what we sow is what we rape you know so and, and that 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 cautions me you know as a younger person i've told that god will be moved because I'm serving him, because I love him, you know. Therefore, he will take care of every other thing. If I whatever I do, it's not true. It's not true. I've since had high, high blood pressure, high sugar, all of that. <laughs> so I love him. <laughs> you know, it's it, it gives me wisdom. You know, if I if I use the wisdom, I will get the results. If I don't use the wisdom, I will get the results. You know, if I die today, it will take me in heaven. Doesn't mean that he wants me to die today. You know, it gives me long life. <laughs> but that long life is not automatic. I have to do the right things. Mm -hmm. You know, if I jump on the highway and go and stand in the highway, I can't say it gave me long life. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. I have to use the wisdom he has given me. Oh my I get from him through the word. The wisdom I get to him in the place of fellowship. The wisdom I get from him from the still small voice that he whispers to my heart. You know, what I do with all of that. Is what produces what everybody sees. Mm. Uh, if, if, if I don't obey the still small voice, if I don't obey the wisdom, the counsel of scripture, if I don't pray, you know, if I don't fellowship, you know, I'm going to get a result. And God is not mocked, right? You know, so may God give us wisdom, you know. It's already certain that, you know, people, those that are righteous will be righteous, those that are wicked will be wicked. Everything mm. is that, you know, we all die. There'll be judgment one day. And we'll mm. get, the, get the reward for our labor. We'll get the yeah. harvest for our seed. It will for our seed, you know. It's, it's not about, oh, God is a merciful God. Oh. Mm. <laughs> God is a merciful God. He's also a, a terrible God. He's a, he's a judge. Mm. He's just God. He's, he, you know, he's... he's, he's whatever he's, the farmer plants that he will reap. Absolutely. Absolutely. You can't, you can't go and plant corn 
and then go and believe that beans is coming out of it. Absolutely. The miracle Absolutely. doesn't come that way. <laughs> Absolutely. There are no sentiments in the realm of the spirit. <laughs> uh, no sentiments. It says only those who are wise will know what it means. Amen. Amen. So yeah. there, is, there is knowledge and wisdom. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yes, yes. And it's supposed to direct us. It's supposed to lead us, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, wisdom is supposed to give us direction, give us insight, yeah. you know. And uh, yeah, of course, you hear the word of the Lord. He says there'll be a yeah. voice from behind saying, this is the way you should go. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. That voice is going to be there. It's whether I listen to it or not, determines the results I get, you know. Mm. Yeah. So may God give us wisdom. He has a, may he give us wisdom. He has already given us wisdom, but may he give us wisdom. Yes. <laughs> and may yes. we yield to wisdom. <laughs> may, may we yield to his wisdom. Yeah, absolutely. His wise counsel. Because yes. he always gives us wise counsel on a daily basis. Are we yes. willing to, to yield to it? Are yes. we really towing the way of the Lord? Yes. Yes. I mean, that's what, that's the result our life will produce. <laughs> mm. Our life will produce the result of our yielding, not our sentiments. Mm -mm. You know, it's, it's, it's what we yield to that will produce. You know, so it is well. It is well. We'll continue mm -hmm. to in our lives. Mm -hmm. We'll continue to give us understanding. Mm. You know, and it continue to give us the strength to do the Bible says it is the, he's the one that walks in us both to will and to do. You know, he will cause us to will and to do of his good yeah. pleasure so that we can eat the good of the land for his own glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See you tomorrow, God will.